Hi guys, this is going to be an unboxing. Um, sorry, I haven't done any videos for a while. Um, I've just ordered a brand new MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the 13 inch 2.6 gigahertz with Retina display. Um, this isn't the stock one. Um, it's got 256 gigabytes of SSD instead of the uh, 128 gig that comes with the base model. Uh, this has 8 gigs of RAM. Um, and the rest of the spec is there. If you want to pause this video and have a look, right? So this is to replace my iMac, which is getting dated now. Uh, this is a 2014 edition, the latest one to date. Um, so let's get started. Um, this is the first Mac Pro I've owned. I've owned a MacBook Air before, which was 11 inches. Right. Parts to run the box. All right, let's get into this. Um, today is iPhone six, six plus pre-order day. Um, I ordered a six plus um, this morning, um, which says it will be here on release day, which is a week today, so next Friday. So I've been on a bit of a shopping spree lately. So let's take this cover off. Um, this is £1,200 in the UK to buy. The stock one's uh, £999. So this is the step up from that. Um, as you can see, you've got the general tab. You pull up to reveal all the um, charger and, and all the accessories below. So compared to my MacBook Air, which I got rid of last week, it's not a lot. Thicker. Well, the MacBook Air, Air is very thin, but this isn't exactly fat for a laptop, I don't think. But I'm happy going from my MacBook Air to this, thickness-wise and portability-wise, so put that to one side for now. In the box, you get um, a MagSafe 2 charger. As you can see there, my MacBook Air was 2011 and had the old-style um, charger. Um, here we have UK power adapter. Um, this is also shipped with UK plug and a US plug, as you can see, which is quite good. So I've got the option for both. Um, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to be using this. Got quite worried when I saw it came with that then. Um, so this is the booklet with all the information in. So it says designed by Apple in California. Sorry about that, my dog decided to come in and be a bit nosy. Um, so inside of here, you get the general stuff, you get getting started guide, or quick start guide, um, with all the general pictures, uh, Thunderbolt 2, well, two Thunderbolt 2.0 ports, MagSafe 2, USB 3, um, just the general stuff. Don't really need to know because I've owned a Mac before. On the other side you've just got all the different Parts of the software. So I'm going to put that to one side. So you also get a MacBook Pro important product information guide, which no one ever really reads. Some Apple stickers and uh, Apple cloth, Apple branded cloth, cleaning cloth, which is quite nice. Um, and in the box, that's it. That's all. So, right now I'm going to get to unboxing this bad boy. Um, well, unpackaging it. Um, so, this is what it looks like. They're always covered in um, this wrapper with a tab. So, you just pull the tab to tear. Uh, this is some warranty if you tear this. Blah, blah, blah. And it just slides out like this. So, I haven't seen one of these. Retina ones properly before. I've seen them in the Apple Store, but never had one up close. Um, as you can see, it comes with this cloth, which you just remove, and here we are. Um, one thing that annoyed me about when they bought this MacBook out is that they got rid of the MacBook Pro uh, name from um, below the screen, which kind of threw me a bit. 
uh, sort of laptops designed by Apple have always had this. Um, this is the international English version, keyboard version, so it's not got the long key for the return, which I'm not too bothered about as I've saved myself about £300 on this by doing this. So, first impressions, yeah, it's not as heavy or as big as I thought it would be, it's still quite compact compared to the MacBook Air. So I'm going to go power this on, hopefully it's got a bit of charge. There we go, we're gripped with the Apple logo. I quite like this black surround compared to the MacBook Air where it's silver. So here we go, I'm just going to go through the setup. Use English. United Kingdom. See, first off, I can see the text is really, really clear. I'm going to type in my wireless password. And I'm in. So you're then greeted with a transfer information to this Mac from an existing Mac. Um, I never bother usually doing this because I like to start fresh and it's a new PC after all. Uh, I agree. It's going to take a while for me to get used to having just a return key instead of the angled one. I'm going to go through all this information off camera. So I've just entered in all my information now, so setting up my Mac. I've owned two Macs previous, so I shouldn't have too much. I might have quite a lot to transfer over, but that's all an external hard drive. And now we're into the operating system. Um, as you can see, first off, uh, iLife Suite is already pre installed. So, as you can see, iPhoto is down here. Um, what else did you get? iPhoto, iMovie, um, GarageBand, uh, also Pages, Numbers, and Keynote are also on there. So, that's quite good. You don't have to pay for them or install them separately. They're already pre-installed. Um, first off I'm going to see how much memory we have installed. Um, well SSD is left after the operating system. So I'm just going to go into disk utility. As you can see here 251 gig SSD. Uh, available. So 18 is used by default or well, nearly 19. So I've got 231 gigabytes SSD still available. Sorry for not zooming in on this, but as you can see there. There we go, focused. But you have to see one of these in person. The screen looks amazing. I can't get over how good the screen looks for a laptop. Compared to my MacBook Air, this beats it hands down. Um, so this has been my quick first look. Uh, set up and unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Um, tune in soon and I'll show you. Well, I've got an iPhone 6 Plus coming on the way, but I'll show you my full review and maybe some new tricks for the MacBook I could show you. Thanks for watching.